Do you know grade A under A? Of course you do. But he recently made a video that I had to address. In this video, he tries to equate the belief in Santa Claus with the belief in God. Let's see where he goes with this. I'm going to start a new little mini-series on my channel that I'll do every now and then, right? Called... Huh? Where I expose some of the most questionable stuff on Earth. Stuff that people believe in that's so stupid, right? You look at it and it makes you go... Huh? Okay... Okay! So everyone knows that Christmas is all about one thing, right? Haha! <laughs> Good one, Jesus! Jesus, you crazy, mate! No, but seriously, though... Presents! Really? That's your lesson there? Christmas is all about presents? That's strike one. Listen! Santa Claus is like gender, man! It's a social construct! It's not real! How anyone can believe that gender is a social construct is beyond me. If there's anything that's plainly obvious, it's gender. It's just another attack against God. Strike two. It's not the story of Noah's Ark! Um, no it's not. Completely different. Strike three. Look down there, it reads, Why are Santa and Noah both really old guys? They're both doing insane thing, and they're old. Noah was legit over 500 years old. Did old people have superpowers back in the day or something? What's your name and how do you spell it? You just called me my name, Noah. Noah, in O A H. Okay, fine, whatever. So, the big thing behind you, what is it? It's a ship. A ship with no oars and no sails. Doesn't look like any ship I've ever seen. Call it an ark then. What's an ark? A ship with no oars or sails. That's strike four for not understanding. Here's a little lesson. Back in the day, people lived a lot longer. Living to the age of even 8 or 900 wasn't a big deal. Noah's grandfather, Methuselah, lived to be 969 years old. Being over 500 probably was the equivalent of being like 40 today or something. He probably wasn't a wrinkly old man with a cane like you see there. Having one old man have the task of building a f yacht. Strike five. You just don't understand. It wasn't one old man. It was Noah, his wife, his three sons, and their three wives. Dad, have you seen him? Not lately. Why? We need him to inspect the food chutes, and, and we need a lot more of these. I'll tell him. I'm, uh, I'm doing an interview. Plus... Noah could have hired outside contractors. It's better than bronze. Bronze is better! You're an idiot! You wanted hinges made out of iron, so I made them out of iron. But old bronze breath over here says they should be made out of bronze, which would make sense if you wanted to bend like putty the first time you opened them. Well, we should make them out of bronze if you want them to resist corrosion. We're building a ship here. You ever think about that? Iron brains! I work with iron, you work with bronze. You're just trying to steal my contract. Well, over my dead body! <sighs> Happy to oblige! <laughs> Make them out of iron. Hinges iron, piping bronze. See? There's plenty of work for both you boys. Don't forget your knife. I'm saving every species on Earth! It wasn't every species, just every kind. Genesis 6.20, of the birds according to their kinds, and of the animals according to their kinds, and every creeping thing of the ground according to its kind. Two of every sort shall come in. That's strike six. The idea of an all-seeing, all-knowing bearded god. We all know what he's talking about now. All-knowing and all-seeing, that's God. Who lives up there, who watches everything you do, 24-7, all year round. God again. This isn't even Santa Claus anymore. Hebrews 4.13 And no creature is hidden from his sight, but all are naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must give account. 
Just because you don't want it to be true, doesn't mean it isn't. The existence of God is simply logical. As long as stuff exists, we know that there is someone who put it here. As you know, all life is basically, life is built on DNA. And DNA is an information system and a language system. Um, so, do you have any evidence that matter produces a language system, matter produces information? I mean, there, there are billions, trillions of bits of information in living systems. Can you, can you testify to how information arose by natural processes? Here we are. Santa isn't even in the same league. You can't even compare the two. And either rewards you or punishes you based on those actions. Not gonna lie, that's a bit hard to believe, don't you think? Well, based on our actions, we all deserve punishment. That's why we need Jesus. There is no action that we can do that will undo any of our previous actions. I'm going ahead and giving you three strikes for that list. Due to your misunderstandings. And that is nine strikes. Better get your head in the game. That'll do it for this video. This is Joey Diaz. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and answer that poll. Also, follow me on Twitter at JoeyDiaz5000. How long have you been working on this little project? How long? Uh, it's hard to say exactly. But the construction phase has been the last 50 years or so. We had to clear the forest of the trees. It takes a lot of timber to build a ship this size. What kind of trees? Go for wood.